Spiders by Gail Gibbons. Spiders may look scary, but most of them don't hurt people. There are about 30,000 different kinds of spiders. Spiders come in many shapes and sizes. Some are so tiny that they are no bigger than a speck of dust. Others can be as big as a dinner plate. Most spiders are brown, gray, or black. Some have bright colors. The first spiders lived about 300 million years ago, even before dinosaurs roamed the earth. Spiders belong to a group of animals called arachnids. Here is the word, arachnid, say it with me, arachnid. The word arachnid comes from an old Greek legend. Once there was a woman named Arachne who was angry when she lost a weaving contest against the goddess Athena. When Arachne died, Athena turned Arachne's body into a spider so she could weave forever. Spiders are not insects. Their bodies are different from insects in many ways. So these two pages show us the differences. This page is a spider's body. Now a spider's body has two parts, the abdomen, this great big part here, and the cephalothorax. That's a great big long word. Cephalothorax is just a fancy word that means the head and chest of the spider. Most spiders have eight eyes. A spider also has eight legs. And these little parts right here are called pedipalps. A spider has pedipalps to feel and to squeeze body juices from its prey. Some spiders even spin silk with tiny organs called spinnerets right here. Now over on this side, the insect's body, it shows that most insects have two big eyes, often with three smaller eyes between them. Many insects also have wings and an insect has six legs. Now an insect body has three parts. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. An insect antenna is for touch and smell. It's these little parts right here. A male spider is smaller than a female spider. When a male spider finds a mate, he must be careful. If the female spider is hungry, she might eat him. Some male spiders do a dance or bring an insect to attract a female. A mother spider lays her eggs and encloses them in a strong silk egg sac, shown right there. Some spiders lay a few eggs, others lay thousands. After a number of weeks, the baby spiders creep out of the silk sac. Spider babies are called spiderlings. So they're right there showing coming out. Most spider mothers don't stay with their babies. Some spiderlings care for themselves as soon as they are born. They run up to the highest places they can find. The spiderlings spin out long streamers of silk. Let me show the streamers and a breeze lifts them and carries them to their new homes. This way of travel is called ballooning. As a spiderling grows, its hard outer skin, called an exoskeleton, becomes tight. The skin cracks open along its back and the spider sheds it by climbing out. This is called molting. Most spiders molt five to 10 times. Some spiders are web weavers. They spin webs to catch their food. There are spiders that weave tangled webs. The spider spins a tangled mass of silk. When an insect is trapped, the spider runs out to get it. So a tangled mass is like a big ball of silk with, with tangles all going every which way. So its prey gets caught. Now this is a house spider. 
Other spiders weave web sheets. The spider hangs upside down beneath the web. When an insect hits the sheet web, the spider quickly pulls it through the webbing. So here is the big sheet web, and this is called a cardinal spider, and it's caught its prey here, and it's pulling it down through. Spiders create funnel webs too. The top and the bot, the top is big right here, and the bottom kind of comes down into like a cone shape, and it's small. The web is held in place by lines of silk. The spider sits at the bottom and waits for an insect to fly or walk in. And that is called a grass spider. Some spiders spin triangle webs. A triangle web is fastened at three points. And the web's bands of dry and sticky silk trap insects. Now, this spider is appropriately named the triangle spider. And we can remember that the triangle spider makes a triangle web. The orb weaving spider spins a pattern of many circles. This one might be a little bit more familiar and one you, might, you may have seen before. The most beautiful spider web of all is the orb web. So this explains how it's formed. We're gonna start up here. First, the spider spins a few lines of silk to hold up the web, so it's spinning it around. Then it adds lines of silk that look like the spokes of a wheel. Now, around and around the spider goes, adding a sticky coil to those spokes, and it makes this shape. Next, the spider waits for its meal in the center of the web, or it waits nearby. When an insect lands on the web, the web shakes. Instantly, the spider pounces. It wraps the insect in silk, then it stuns the insect with its poisonous fangs. If the spider is hungry, it eats the insect right away. If not, it waits until later. So this is what an orb web looks like. Think about if you've ever seen one of these anywhere. And the spider that makes this kind of a web is called a garden spider. Not all spiders use webs for catching food. Some hide in burrows or beneath rocks and stones. When the spider sees an insect, it quickly runs out and grabs it. This is a wolf spider. One unusual kind of spider lives underwater. It weaves a bell-shaped web right here. Then it fills that web with tiny bubbles. The spider stays there, breathing the air from the bubbles, and waits to catch water insects. And this spider is called a water spider. Another type of spider digs a tunnel and lines it with silk. To protect itself, it makes a hinged trap door from dirt and silk to cover the tunnel. A hinge means that it can, like, it can flap up and down. So see, it's almost like a it's a flap that can go over this little hole. When the spider is hungry, it opens the door a bit. If an insect comes close, the spider scurries out to catch it. Now this one's called a trapdoor spider. And you might recognize that name and description from our writing unit when we were talking about um, writing our informative reports, our animal reports. Some spiders hide on or inside flowers. One spider even changes color from yellow to white to match the color of the flower. When an insect lands, the spider snatches it. This is called a crab spider. Some spiders are dangerous. One of them is the black widow spider. The black widow spider bites only when its web is disturbed or it is in danger. The poison of a black widow spider can kill a person. And this is what a black widow spider looks like. The biggest spider of all is the tarantula. When its legs are stretched out, it can measure about 10 inches wide. It is very hairy. Tarantulas that live in the United States are not poisonous to people. Spiders have enemies. Some insects, like spider wasps, hunt and eat spiders. Toads, frogs,
frogs and some birds like to eat spiders too. Most spiders live for about one year. Some live much longer. Female tarantulas sometimes live to be 25 years old. Many people don't like spiders because they are afraid of them. But spiders help us and they play an important role by eating many insects that are harmful to crops and people. Spiders can be interesting to watch. Scientists are still discovering new kinds of spiders and learning more about them. Spiders, spiders, spiders. Remember the nursery rhyme, Little Miss Muffet? Little Miss Muffet was a real little girl. Her father was a spider expert who used to make her eat mashed spiders when she was sick. About 200 years ago, this was a common cold remedy. Ooh, I don't think I would like that. Some spiders can walk on water. The raft spider does this by spreading its legs wide while it takes quick steps. Spiders have an excellent sense of touch. Their bodies, mouths, and legs are covered with fine sensory hairs. The person who is terrified of spiders has what's called arachnophobia. Can you hear that word arachnid? That's the word to describe spiders. That is in that word. Arachnophobia is a person that has a fear of spiders. Spider silk is three times stronger than steel thread, the same thickness. That's pretty strong. The deadliest spider in the world is the Brazilian wandering spider. Spiders don't stick to their own webs because their feet are specially shaped and their bodies are covered with oil. Some spiders spin a special line called a drag line. If an enemy comes, the spider can quickly drop down the drag line and escape. I think I've probably seen spiders do that in my house before. Maybe you have too. Not many animals eat ants because they taste badly. One spider is protected because it looks like an ant. It's called an ant mimic. Spiders can walk up walls and across ceilings because they have special grip pads on their feet. I hope that you've enjoyed reading this book all about spiders. I know I learned some really interesting things and I hope you did too.